It's been a long time. I know. I know. Also, so much has changed. There's <laughs> so much different. I actually think the last time I filmed a video, I just got my hair cut short for the first time. And then I went even shorter like a few weeks ago. But, hi. I'm talking quiet because a lot of new things have happened. So, I don't live at home anymore. I moved out of my dad's house. And I have two roommates, and my roommate is working upstairs. So that's why I'm trying to be quiet. I'm really trying to focus on being quiet. Because if anyone knows me, you know that that's very hard for me. Um, but I don't know. I've always really loved YouTube. I've said that like a million and a half times. But I'm just, I'm just going to go ahead and say it, okay? We're going to put it out there. My channel is not at all going to be like me doing these extravagant things i mean maybe like down the road like maybe every now and then but like i live a very mundane life and to be honest like my absolute favorite youtuber is keaton and like if you watch her you know her vlogs are like very much so just like her being an introvert and her doing her own thing and just being like such a homebody but taking you guys along with it and for some reason i just really like resonate with that kind of content so that's honestly the kind of content I'm gonna be pushing on YouTube whenever I am making videos. And since I really love YouTube, I need to just stick to it, you know what I mean? I know that that's like a hard thing for everybody. It's like people like know that they love certain things and they never do it, which makes me sad. So I don't wanna, I don't wanna do that. So um, I was talking about it the other day, like honestly, if that's the kind of content I wanna make, like naturally the right people will come to my page and like they'll appreciate that kind of stuff like i'm not going to be going skydiving and like to paris <laughs> you know what i mean like it's not that kind of channel um it's really more so just like lifestyle mundane stuff um i'm definitely an introverted person so like i like to do a lot of things alone and stuff like that but today actually is an exciting day i'm actually excited that i'm filming <laughs> See, this is how exciting YouTube makes me. Um, I'm doing excited, excited. I'm doing exciting things today. I, should I say? I did a poll over on my Instagram. Also, if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me over there at Savannah Bell. I'll put it on the screen because it's spelled weird. Um, but I posted, I think, like several months ago about getting this tattoo. I actually talked about it. This is my one and only tattoo until actually until does that make sense this is my one and only tattoo and i'm going to get more today i'm so excited um i'm not going to tell you guys what i'm getting at i'm just going to wait to show you guys what i get but i will say i'm getting more than one so she's excited and then after that i have a little movie date with my friend dakota so we're going to see i don't even know the name of it but like several years ago an escape room movie came out and now they came out with the second and we went to see that one together. So we're gonna go see the second one together too. And I'm so excited, like <laughs> these are the things that make me excited. I will say that I've noticed like the older I get, I'm very much so like into doing really laid back and chill things. Um, since moving to Nashville, I've been here for like four months in, in this new house and I can show you guys stuff like eventually. Um, I'm in my new bathroom, she's cute. but. In the beginning of living here, like I'm living in a big city and so I was going out a ton and like constantly doing stuff with friends, but obviously like that makes me feel very, very like run down since I am introvert. So now I'm just listening to my body, listening to like what I want in life. Hold on. This is not going to work. Um, so I've just been kind of like sticking to what I really want in life, which is just like laid back, chill things like this. Also just really focusing on like who I'm giving my time and energy to, um, you guys should probably do the same because it's crazy how much like it weighs on you whenever you're doing stuff that like you truly deep down don't want to be doing. It, like to me, it really takes a toll because I'm very in tune with like my emotions and what I want in life. And so like if I notice myself like going out and I don't really want to go out like all night, I'm like beating myself up about it, which could be unhealthy, but. It's to the point where I'm like, Savannah, you know you don't want to do that. So why are you doing it? Why are you doing it? You know? So, 
I'm trying to be better about like doing the things that truly just make me happy to my core. So yeah, today's gonna be a happy day. Um, but I'm gonna take you guys along. I don't know if this is gonna be like a day vlog or a whole weekend vlog, we'll see. I have a few other things going on this weekend, so maybe it will be a weekend vlog to like, kind of like really make it exciting. <laughs> Even though I literally just said, it's gonna be mundane. But welcome all my mundane lovers. You're gonna like this channel. So it's still pretty early, it's 10.03. I woke up early this morning, because I'm trying to be better about like being an early bird, because I am naturally an early bird. I wake up at like, I woke up at 7.15 without an alarm. But typically, I would just stay in bed and keep sleeping in because I'm like, oh, I have nothing to do. Might as well sleep in. But, like, I don't really want to do that anymore either. Like, maybe some days if I really need the rest. But I don't know. I'm into, like, starting the day, stuff like that. If I need a nap later on, like, we'll do it. But, yeah, so I woke up, went on a walk, already finished half a gallon of water. I need to go fill up the rest. I probably won't eat until noon, but my tattoo appointment is at 1.30, so I'll probably check in um, or check back in around 1.30 whenever I'm actually doing exciting things. But if there's anything you guys wanna see about like my new lifestyle, like my new house, like stuff like that, what it's like living with roommates, all of the tea, <laughs> um, let me know in the comments what you guys want from me. <laughs> I'm gonna stop rambling because I'm sure that's not what you guys want. So see you see you at 130 when I'm getting my tattoo. Literally me after doing my makeup. Um, the only thing I will say about waking up early is that you have so much time in your day that you're like, okay, like what can I do now? Like especially if you have like plans for like a specific time, aka tattoo appointment. It's like it's only 11:48. Like I still have so much time. What should I do with it, you know? I could just lay in my bed on my phone, but I'm probably gonna read. But I did my makeup and it looks actually really good. I'm really into it. Um, I did it really quickly too, so I'm actually kind of impressed with how good she turned out. I go to makeup. Um, I will say every now and then I like use different foundations, but it's still the same look, um, like minimal summery faux freckle look. Um, so if you guys want a little tutorial, on this makeup look let me know in the comments um and i'll do that for you guys okay it's now hopefully my air conditioning isn't too loud i thought it was like socially acceptable to wear sweatpants out when it is 96 degrees well that's what my car says it's probably not 96 let's actually see let's see what we're working with 90 degrees and i'm wearing sweatpants who is she? I don't know. Sorry, the steering wheel is in the shot. This is what we're working with. Um, but it is 108. So I'm going to go ahead and drive to my appointment. Something about me is that I'm literally always early. Like, I don't know what it is. I, I was saying earlier, like, I hate waiting around and, like, just having so much time in the day. But, like, I just, there's a certain point where, I'm like, it's fine. I'd rather just wait in my car and listen to music. So I'm just going to go ahead and hope. <laughs> what? I'm gonna go ahead and head over there and just chill in my car. All right, you guys, it's all done. So the next tattoo, she's so cute. This one is covered, so I'll show you guys whenever I take this off. And then also the finger tattoos. I kind of forgot that I got these. Um, to be honest, I think I'm the type of person that like really just enjoys getting tattoos and like, I don't really super find them that painful. Um, that's just me. The fingers I heard were like the absolute worst tattoo you could get. And so I was really nervous for those. Um, they didn't hurt at all. I was like, what the heck? Um, I will say the wrist stung a little bit more, but once again, it did not hurt. And then the neck initially stung a little bit, but like, wasn't bad at all none of them took really long either i mean i think that maybe people with like sleeves maybe they're like complaining about the pain because it's like a huge thing i only have little tattoos so that's all i really know but i cannot stop looking at this tattoo she's so cute um but anyways tattoos are done i didn't end up bringing my camera in because i i don't know i never know how people are going to feel about that and like what the vibes are going to be like i did grab some video on my phone so i can post that um somehow in this video but overall i'm really excited with him we made it to amc we sure did i literally am sweating but it's okay are you not gonna get cold in there 
cold. I'm gonna be nervous. I mean, yeah. It's a thriller. I'm gonna be sweating. <laughs> I'm, I'm dying. <laughs> you guys, once again, the movie was insane, and the way that it ended, there's definitely gonna be a third one. So if you guys have not yet seen, I still don't know the name of the movie. What is it with me and not realizing, like not catching names of movies that I'm seeing? Well, now I'm on my way or I'm about to drive to my dad's house because we are gonna go have dinner at my sister's house. And I think I'm gonna try my best to get their reactions to my tattoos. Whenever I got my first tattoo, my dad was like weird about it. Oh, by the way, here she is, be good. I love it um but like he wasn't like mad he was just like I guess they don't he doesn't see the point in tattoos who knows um so I want to see the reaction especially the neck tattoo because like that's kind of like out there in my opinion but I really want to see how he responds so I'm gonna try my best to catch their reactions to the tattoos and include that in the vlog because I just feel like that would be really funny hey guys come here Guess what I did today? What'd you do today? Dad! What'd you do? Guess what I did today? Oh god. <laughs> you did what? Guess what I did today? What? You got your hair done. No. Your lips. No. Tattoo. <gasps> you got it. I got more tattoos. Oh my goodness. You wrote it. But wait. There's more. No, you wrote it. Mm -hmm. I didn't write it. No, because you're supposed to wait for Shanice. No, we are getting our own other tattoo. You did not do that. And it's not red. <laughs> it's not red. No. It's real. Oh, no. I'm serious. It's not real. It's not red, Savannah. Yeah, it is. That one is. It's red. No. <gasps> it's red. You know, I'm We found a cute, cute house. What are you doing, Savannah? I'm filming. What are you filming? Our lives. Oh my God. We're gonna be famous, Dad. Oh, get that off of here. I don't wanna be on the WWW. <laughs> the WWW? Okay, we ended up eating our barbecue. It was really good. I was gonna do a little taste test, but I decided not to since we were trying to have family time. But we also made cookies. So I'm gonna have cookies and milk. All right, we've got some really cute lighting going on. I have this cute like LED night light and you can change the colors and I've been feeling green lately. But I'm so exhausted now, I just got home. And what even is the time? 10.45, which for a Friday night is so early. But, but like I said in the beginning of the video, Lately, I'm just such a homebody and just like love like being by myself and doing my own thing. And since I'm like trying to wake up earlier in the mornings, oh shit, peep the tattoo, she's so cute. But since I've been into like waking up earlier, it's better to go to bed early anyway to help with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night, but I hope you guys had a good Friday. I had such a good day, I'm so excited with like all that happened i love my tattoos i love spending time with my family and also my friends so it was an overall good day but i'll see you guys in the morning good morning you guys it's 7 21 i actually woke up a few minutes ago but it's saturday morning and i wanted to take a walk um but one thing i will say is like being this early on a saturday I know there's not a ton of cars out and like a ton of people out because it's Saturday, most people are not working. Um, yesterday I woke up this early and I went on a walk but it was a Friday morning so like people were going to work and stuff. Um, and like the area I live in is, it's not terrible. Like I've never had anything super crazy happen. Um, like one thing has happened but it wasn't even like anything involving me. But I feel like I should just wait a little bit longer. Wow, I look really good. I feel like I should just wait a little bit longer to go on my walk. So I think I'm gonna read a little bit and then go on my walk just so like there are more cars out, more people around just in case 
anything sketchy were to happen, but we'll see. All right, story time. So the house I live in is close to a lot of Airbnbs. And so like I always walk by them, my walk's always the same. And there was a guy on the second story like sitting outside on the patio drinking his coffee, you know, the morning grind. And of course he like made small talk. Like here in Nashville, like people always are like, hey, how are you, good, how are you? Like that kind of thing, okay? I'm not like shocked by any of that ever. Um, Cause I do that with people that I walk by or see on the street too. Um, so we made the whole small talk, but then he stood up and walked closer to the railing. And I was just like, what are you doing, sir? Like I'm on my walk, I'm not trying to have like a long conversation. But of course, like I'm a sweet person, so I was just like, whatever, like we'll see what he has to say. So he asks me like where I live, and I'm like, oh, I'm from Nashville, like I live here. And he was like, oh, okay, because he was visiting, hence staying in the Airbnb. Um, told me he was from Chicago, whatever. And I was like, oh, cool. And then he asked me what my walk route was. And I was just like, obviously, I'm not going to tell him like specifically where I go. But I was like, oh, I just like walk around the neighborhood. It's like usually about two miles. And he literally was like, okay well this is gonna sound weird but like do you mind if i join you on your morning walk and i was like <laughs> i was so i was so like taken back by that because i'm like you don't even know me i don't know you like we're not about to go on a walk together i mean not even coming from like a hateful place but it's like obviously like i don't know him like he could be crazy but also it's like i like my morning walks alone so i was just like um i actually like my morning walks are my alone time and he like quickly was like oh no it's totally fine like i need to finish my cup of coffee before i take my walk anyway and i was like okay well have a good walk and i just like ended it there because i was like what the heck i don't know if he was like hitting on me or if he genuinely just like wanted somebody to join him on his morning walk i don't know if he was still drunk from the night before and he was just feeling bold i really don't know all I do know is that I was just very like confused because like that's bold and I give him props for being bold Yes, but like we got to pick and choose what we're bold about ladies and gentlemen, okay? Where's Not much has changed stone, huh? I'm Currently watching manifest and I just made myself a lunch. I just made avocado toast with an egg I'm so excited. I'm obsessed and I like never used to buy avocados because I feel like I would forget about them and let them go bad. But now I'm like, no, I cannot waste any money on anything anymore. But I'm hype. It looks so good. I also am eating it on like the Dave's Killer bread. And that stuff is so good. I was kind of worried that it like wouldn't taste like normal bread. Like I truly can't tell the difference. So, Okay, so I'm currently folding and putting away laundry. And I just want to give you guys a little tip. So anytime I'm in a funk or I just feel like my life is spiraling out of control, I don't know what it is. I love to just like feel like I'm getting my life together. So I'll like make my bed, do my laundry, clean my room, organize my drawers, read a book, whatever. Um, I mean, every now and then, like, I also like to just like be chill um, and like watch a good like YouTube video or like a Netflix show. But... These are just little things I can do on a daily basis that like make me feel like in control and my life is not as hectic and stuff. Not that I have a hectic life or anything, but you know, sometimes you just wake up and you're like, something's just off. And these are things that I personally like to do. Um, I know everybody has their own little things, but try it out next time you're having an off day and thank me later. All right. I'm off to get myself a coffee because the sun finally came out and I just feel guilty like being in the house whenever it's this gorgeous out. It's actually like not even gorgeous, it's hot. Look at this, my lens is foggy. I kind of want to run a few errands. I think it's fogging up again, love that. I kind of want to run a few errands. I feel like I haven't ran errands, like just like gone to Target for fun in a really long time and I do, need to get a few things i feel like i don't even know off the top of my head but i just feel like when i'm there and i see something i'll be like oh i need that <laughs> usually target does that to us doesn't it i got my ice chai with oat milk and now i can just go about my day what's up kings and queens i'm finally back from target i got three things oh wait i just remembered one of the things i got i'm so excited okay let's do a little haul 
fall, why don't we, okay? So, I had to find a, I'm out of breath from walking up my stairs, holy cow. I had to find like a drugstore mo moisturizer that I was open to trying. Um, I haven't used, I haven't bought skincare from Target or like stores like that in so long that I was like, I literally don't know anything about any of these products. I haven't heard anybody talk about them. So I like really did not know what I was doing, which is wild. Um, and I know that this doesn't necessarily say moisturizer, but it just caught my eye. So I was like, I'm gonna give it a try. So it's by the brand Thayer's, Thayer's, not sure how to say it, but it's the Radiance Boosting Balm with Witch Hazel. So it says balm. So like, does that mean it's a, like a moisturizer? Isn't that like the same thing? I mean, look, it looks like lotion. I mean, anywho, hopefully this is not a regret, but I mean, it smells really, really good. It smells like rose water, obviously. Whew, cause it's the rose petal scent and oh my God. Okay, yeah, I think it's gonna be, a, I think it's gonna be a hit, but I can keep you guys posted. If you guys have used this, let me know. I've used their witch hazel before and I liked it, but we'll just see what happens with this. If this is a miss, then I'll just have to go to the Ulta in Cool Springs um, during the week whenever I'm there for work. But then I also got this micellar water. I used some of my friends like the other night and I'm really used to using a makeup wipe. I know a lot of people shit on makeup wipes, but I'm not using a makeup wipe for my cleanser. I'm using a make makeup wipe to get my makeup off and then also washing my face. So I feel like if that's the case, then they're not terrible for you, but correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know. But the thing I'm most excited about is this candle. I love candles and I don't know why I haven't had one in my room for so long. I burned them all out and I just never repurchased. But you guys, Opal House, pistachio blossom that's what it is it smells so freaking good so and it was only five dollars so i'm about to light this and either go get dinner with a friend or cook myself dinner well i'm just gonna make like a salad so i guess it's not really cooking um hopefully she can get dinner because i'm like really in like a going out to dinner kind of mood but we'll see but i'm really freaking hyped for this candle so yes i do recommend it five dollars smells like a dream go get yourself one also i'm so close to being done with my gallon and it's only five so you're supposed to finish at nine which means i'm ahead of the game bitches okay so it's 5 23 so i went ahead and made myself dinner and i have been obsessed with black bean burger salads lately they're so good i love black bean burgers so let's just show you guys so I went ahead and chopped up some cucumbers and tomato, chopped up my two black bean burgers, and then I'm just gonna mix these two lettuces. And then I got this vegan ranch. I've never had it, so I'll have to let you guys know how it is, but I'm so hyped for this. She's done. I never really eat downstairs. I know some people are like totally against eating in their bed, but obviously I am not that person, so. Yet again, going to either watch YouTube or manifest, but I'm so excited. Let's actually try her out because I want to see how this ranch is. I'm a little nervous. Try her out. Get a little black bean burger in there. Let's see how she is. Mmm. No, oh, yeah, it's really good. I honestly can't tell the difference. It doesn't taste about it all it tastes like normal ranch so i would recommend also i'm not vegan but i just like vegan options because i feel like they're just healthier so take it or leave it vloggy vlog shanice so wait let me tell them shanice moved to florida to do the disney college program so we are in a long distance relationship and we're having a candle lit we're having a candle lit date <laughs> Happy Sunday, you guys. I feel so good. So I think I already mentioned it, um, that I've been trying to like train myself to wake up earlier. So 
I think the first day, like Friday, woke up at 7.15, woke up at 7.15 the next day, and then this morning woke up at 7. And I was a little tired afterwards, but I think it's because I just laid in bed a little bit longer, and like, I was still kind of tired, but I know that if I were to go back to sleep and like, wake up in 30 minutes, I would feel really groggy, so I'm one to like, as soon as I wake up, even if it is before my alarm clock, and I do still have like 30 minutes till my alarm clock, I just go ahead and get the heck out of bed because I just know how it's gonna make me feel. But I'll be honest, today is gonna be like a very casual day, and so not a lot to talk about or show there. I am gonna go grab a coffee. I filled up this awful water bottle, um, but we're working with what we got. Um, and then just chill, probably organize, just get ready for the week. Um, Sundays are usually my like very casual laid back days, but um, yeah, so I'm gonna end the vlog here. I really had fun filming this. Like honestly, every time I pull out my camera and I'm filming, it just feels right. And that's just like a really good feeling to know that like you're actually like finally doing stuff that makes you happy. And obviously there's a lot more than just vlogging that makes me happy, but this is definitely a big one. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it also. And if you wanna see more videos by me, you can just subscribe down below and I'll link my, or I'll um, tag my little Instagram on the screen somewhere so you guys can follow me over there too if you don't already but I hope you guys have a really good week remember to talk nicely to yourselves try and see the bigger picture the brighter side try to be positive and I will see you guys in the next video